internet! Welcome to Land of Eberron! The search for Droid and <laughs> Episode 18! Y'all, this is episode 18! I'm Mocha, oh, it's 18. the wizard. How are, we, how are we this old where we're just at the age of 18? <laughs> and these are my players. They're here. Hello everyone, this is Dane Nuru. I play Aegis. <laughs> That pile of dust over there is ages. Just so you guys know the age difference here, but... He's so quiet! It's you not know, so bad. He's, he's he... turned everyone else down to 50% and turned him up to 200%. Can, and then I, I turned just it say... my laptop Can I just say this? He sounded A-OK -okay up until Moon yelled and overshadowed <laughs> his voice. It's all good. I stopped talking by then, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just damn heard it just like so <laughs> softly. I'm like, ah. Uh, I'm Ghost, and I play I as your scouts. Everyone. Can you repeat yourself, Ghost? Moon was talking to. Okay. good. I'm Ghost, and I play as your scouts. Okay. Ed, can you introduce yourself, please? I'm Ed, and I play. Bambi. Moon. Introduce yourself, please. You are free to talk now, kitty. Thank you. That's not the point. I was actually going to say when Mocha was like, you can introduce yourself now, Moon. And I'm like, I forgot what player I am. Oh, gosh, I know that feel. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm Moonflower, and I play, as, apparently, to my uh, character sheet here, I play Yuna. <laughs> it's been okay. so long. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least. I'm Varen, I play Lenara, and I'm gonna go deaf every time I mute myself, because normally my headset's turned way down. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay. Alright, that's everyone who finally introduced themselves again. Yay! Okay, and last I get a time. Recap. Okay, the recap. Do, 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 do. You guys went into the pit, found a whole pile of freaking garbage, explored a bunch of tunnels, a lot of them small, a couple were big, until you finally came across what looks to be like a harvesting area. Where there's like a whole bunch of like slimes and worms, and you saw two kobolds sorting those out. They heard you coming and ran, but you're not sure in which direction. Not yet. I I don't think. Um, you come to the conclusion that the kobolds are using uh the refuse pile to create an either a new community or an extension of an old community. The pit honestly opening up was, uh, well, was a giant surprise to not only the townsfolk, but probably to them, and they've been using the garbage. Happily. And now you're all here. Trying to figure out how you're going to approach this situation because the kobolds currently aren't bothering anyone. Yeah, they've been rather polite. In a sense. Hmm. Well, uh, Georgie speaks up and he's like, well, uh, We'll follow, uh, your lead on this. Well, then I guess we'll have to follow... Uh, do I really have to go forward again? Yes. Uh, alright. Aegis is going to make his way to this area. And look down the hall. Uh, right. So you're going to be walking down that hall. Looking down the hall before I walk. Okay. Gonna draw me some freehand. Hold on a moment there. Abuski. Okay. So, 
This cavern gets narrower and narrower. Or it goes off like that. And not only that, but you can see that there is a slant to this cavern where she's like, it starts off like wide, but then it starts to angle down to the point where you're you're gonna be on your hands and knees. So essentially it's one of the same previous halls. Uh he's gonna go over here and take a look. Okay. So this one kind of goes like that, but it's also getting more and more narrow and is become like a small hole that you'd have to go on your hands and knees for. Well, we got two paths we can take. Well, three, technically speaking, as there is a divergent path on that one over there. The two primary paths seem to go small. Uh, Bambi shivers and looks hopefully at uh, uh, LSD and says, can, can you make, make the, the tunnels bigger? I can do this, yes. Wait, you can it's make no problem. I can manipulate. I can manipulate the earth. Make it better. Wouldn't that more likely cause it to cave in? Just... <clears throat> well, last time no. She's using magic. Hold on a moment, I need to uh, delete this section a bit because it's a... Uh, I need to adjust the the lines. You guys keep talking. Uh, she goes, uh, yes. Uh, I can uh, manipulate the uh, the ground. Make it better. I see. Make holes wider. Then I would suggest we take that path. And he's going to point down the one he just came out of. But I would suggest we make our way going the divergent path in order to see where that goes. Before we start messing with the earth. Very well. Just, just in case, so that way yeah, they see us as harmful in order to try and start leading us. Start trying to ambush us from all sides. We won't get overran from a bigger hallway that helps support them. We're just going to be in an ambush in a small sized hallway that suits them. I can't fit in small hallways. I mean, we could probably just return back to this chamber if we get ambushed. Hey. May I speak? Uh, and and, and uh, the one who is speaking is uh, LSD. Madame LSD. Yeah. You have the floor. I am worried to go through those tunnels, which are made specifically for their size, because it is very easy to fall into traps. Fair. Sorry, I had something in my throat. That's fair. If there is someone here that I may suggest going first, but maybe with a bit of help, maybe it be uh, 
the uh, a smaller variety. And she looks over to Georgie. But that would mean he would go alone. And I do not like that idea either. Either, But uh... to investigate, to scout, he's not going to be on his hands and knees. Uh, Bambi, like, puts his battle axe at, at, on his belt and raises a hand. Uh, yes, Bambi, you, uh, you can speak, says Georgie. Could you be a small animal and, and go Oh, so I can, I can be... I can transform into smaller animal. This is true. L like, I only have so many transformations. Um, oh, you don't oh. have to waste them. I could turn into a small cat. Oh? E. This is news. Actually, e that's... Oh. If we are going to use magic, then... He's gonna look to the rest of the. He's gonna look to the rest of the party, more specifically to uh, Lenara and Azure. Do either of you happen to know re enlarge reduce, or specifically reduce person? I do not think so, but let me check my. Let me check. Because we could just cast. Let me check my and... book. Because if one of us has that, it'll probably make it easier for someone to accompany Georgie. Uh, we were, uh, but, uh, uh, without we having to expend that, can just transform for free. True, yeah, I but can would you be, but would you be able to fight in that such form? In case Georgie gets you ambushed, wouldn't need to. he's a cat, she can outrun mm -hmm. and um... leave Georgie behind. Regrettably, do not have either of those. They spells. do have enlarge reduce. Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, and then. I did prepare it for today. Okay then. Oh. Hmm. We can't all go with him, so. Yuna, Boy, how how hold on, how long can a reduce size last? Just wondering, because if it could be the whole group, the whole group could go with Georgie. It's only up from one minute. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> and I can only do one target. Okay. If I were to cast it on multiple targets, uh, well... That'd be multiple spell slots, right? That'd be multiple spell slots, and I don't know, in case this ever does get nasty, I think you might want me... I don't know. Full capacity? There. I would suggest Yuna and Bambi, Bambi being reduced person, Go with Georgie on that scouting trip down the hall. Bambi starts shaking. <laughs> Agent's gonna put a hand on Bambi. Don't worry, you'll no. be sm you'll be small, <laughs> so the hall won't be claustrophobic. Great, right, it'll feel bigger going in there. I need to remind you. This is only for a minute. So if he grows back before getting back here... He might get stuck. Mm-hmm. Bambi starts whimpering. Hmm. Or oh, due to magic being weird, he might sort of be teleported to an entirely different area of the cave. Oh, what As happened? enchanted? Uh... Yep. Hmm. Well, Which would probably be worse. That indeed would be worse. Mm -hmm. What would you two suggest then? 
Just let Georgia and Yuna go alone? Bambi says, uh, um, uh, I could, I, maybe I can't go, go with them, but I, I can, if Eunice says so, I can, I can see with her eyes so that if trapped, I can, I can say it to us and then, and then Miss Ellis D can use the earth move spell. And then Bambi offers a hopeful grin. And it looks alarming. How could I be alarmed by that cute pitch? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm a little... As the player, I'm just a bit confused on what Bambi just said. I, I understand where you're uh, going with that. He has beast sense as a ritual that lasts up to an hour. So he okay. can touch a willing beast, and he would be a beast in that um, moment. No, unfortunately, a beast is a specific type. Oh. She still keeps her. Unless it changes player. the. Yeah, he still keeps player tag. Unless oh. it changes your tags. I don't think the spell does. Well, let me let me just um just check. Uh, um, ba -da 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 -da. cat shape. A polymorph into a cat with two tails. A polymorph that turns you into a beast. Yeah, that should work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Bambi just looks so hopeful that he does not have to go into this hole and be small and vulnerable. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, you can do it. I mean, I can also turn into something else, but the it would not fit in the hole. Oh. You gotta uh, fit so... in the hole. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna the be the ki I'm gonna be the little kitty cat. The little kitty cat that chased around the bunnies. Oh. All right. Well, so, I don't see now the question much. is, which hole to go through? I would suggest going down. The one oh, they went something down. Keeps going, something keeps going down my throat. I was just going down the hall that way, and we can at least keep a close eye on so if we go down this way afterwards. I'm not suggesting to fully split the party. I'm saying we can at least still close by. What was, was Dane saying? I couldn't hear him. Did I get cut off? Sorry. I was saying we can at least move up to be close to the diverging path in case something else happens. Okay. And I also heard Ghost. What was Ghost saying? Uh, I was saying... Which path did uh, the kobolds go down again? None of you us guys saw. don't know, because you okay. didn't see. Gotcha. None of us saw, so it'd be better for us to stick down one path instead of... spreading our bets into different places. Okay, well, this one has only one path, uh, and doesn't split, at least not immediately. So probably this path, because this one has a risk of someone coming up from the other path and cutting you off and cutting off your exit. So for our first foray, we can go through here and hope we get lucky. At least that's Ed's theory. Okay. Bambi would not be so eloquent, but he would probably point and just sheepishly suggest going down, trying this one. Well, we got we have okay. one for this path and one for this path. What's the group uh, what do the rest of the group say? I say down probably. It's only one path so far, so mm -hmm. easier to go through and come back from if 
dead end. So something. are these all little holes? They get narrower as you go down, yeah. They get okay. narrower as you go, go bigger, uh, further down. So the yeah. only ones that we know are confirmed is right and down. We don't know about this one. You know that there's an opening, but there, and there's possibly another path there, but we but won't know until they go in there. Yeah. Mm. And it looks like this path starts out a little wider, so we might be able to go at least a little further down into this one. Alright. Then that. This one, then that one. We have two for down, one for right. I'll go down. And she's down. Majority picks down. Majority is picking down, so let us go down. Okay, let me do the spell. Uh, yeah. Ritual. Yeah. I guess I'll just roll the spell info for you. Uh... Yeah. All right. I can use my action to see through your eyes and ears. Well, uh, through your eyes and hear through your ears. I do not see through your ears. That would oh, be God. weird. Oh, God. Your, no. your ears have sprouted <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> ah! I'm just imagining that creature from Labyrinth that had eyes on its hands. I know. I, that's what I was sort of picturing as I said it. Like, no, no way. No, no I'm, that's not I'm imagining. Right. I'm imagining Yuna having turned into a snail. <laughs> I no, no antenna. But yes, Bambi touches you as soon as you turn into a cat. And he he pets you very gently on the head. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on. Uh, so Mocha, I'm going to move my token just off the map for now. Mm -hmm. Just to be with Georgie, in a sense. I'm just going to put Yuna all the way over here. All right. Because I just feel like Yuna would probably be sitting on Georgie's shoulders. Okay. Georgie is walking on down. Yeah, just will and follow primarily just to be eyes afterwards. Right here is where you're going to have to start crawling. All right. Well, I stop before that then and just kind of follow Georgie's. You can be eyes. one square further before it's like, okay, yeah. So right here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Bambi gets out his battle axe of warring again. Hey. Georgie steps on through. Um... Actually, hold on. Uh, Georgie uh, peeks out, comes back, and he's like, Just a question. Um, should I have my lights out, or does anyone... Should I just go in the dark? Can either of you see in the dark? I uh, cannot see in the dark. Hold on. I, I am looking to see if I have... I think cats have dark vision. I think I do. No, they don't. Vision. They have low light vision. Oh. They don't actually even have that. They have keen smell, that's it. Dang. Hold on, so, I'm looking for my stuff. Um, so what uh, LSD does is that she holds out her hand, uh, puts it on uh, Georgie's uh, forehead, and his eyes glow, like, for a moment. And he goes, oh. Oh. That, that is much better. Yes. Okay. Mocha, I do have dark vision. You do have dark vision? Okay. Yeah. Well, ah, guess what? Georgie, for the next eight hours, now has dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the nightclub. Does the dark vision keep in your shifted state? I'm gonna say that because she's not actually a cat, yes. Because now that makes me think, and I'm like, now I need to go You're look at the You're probably more token. beast, but you are a cat with two tails. So, yes. I don't know. Oh, I will take okay, what the GM says, especially since it works out in my favor. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, Georgie's 
making his way down. Just drawing. Making his way downtown, walking fast, faces passing the home down. And now. And so long as they don't come charging back up this way, and they being the kobolds, we should be fine. <laughs> I like how you say that, and I just feel like maybe later on this is going to happen now. <laughs> yeah, I was well, like, I you mean... practically jinxed us. <laughs> as long as we don't get cut off by the kobolds, we're fine. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> because one, I have a feast of death, obviously. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, I have not gotten to use Bambi in battle yet, so that's gonna hello. be exciting. Hello. Have you not seen this face? Oh, jeez, don't no. I remember <laughs> no. when that face was a puppet. I I, I can't believe it. Lenaro <laughs> <laughs> would say that's an improvement. <laughs> Rude. No. Georgie. Uh. Walks to here. Mm -hmm. Bambi, uh, blinded and deafened as he is watching from uh, Yuna's perspective. Okay. So we're. Okay, you're still drawing. Here we go. Okay, so there's a path going down. Do we want to check out down this path? Mocha, can I perception? Sure! I just want to see if I can hear something. Or smell. Or smell. That's a 20. Well, that's a 25. <laughs> If you're seeing it, so depending on whether or not if you're seeing or smelling changes these things. What are you doing? Okay. Um, I don't want to see. I actually want to smell, smell or hear if that. Okay. I can smell you. Anyway. Um... Yeah. No, Mark, <laughs> what? So, there are a couple of things that you do smell. Um, you do hear some scurrying happening down here, like little feet. And you also smell something akin to fungus. Fungus? Also, Smog's voice. Um and also that's coming down in this way. Yep. Um Yep, that's what you hear coming down this way. Right. And Georgie was saying to look down this way. He's he was okay. asking, shall we look down this way? Um I can hear movement down that way. And it smells like earth. Like a fungus earth. Okay. So yes, go down or tell the others. Um I could take a peek since Bambi's looking through my eyes. If you want me to, because if it if it turns out to be bad, uh you'll have an easier start running away. Uh, you go, my kitty friend. Alright. You put it Bringing down. Her back in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I will... Is there, like, a bend or something here? Yeah, it's a bend. Alright. So I want to go up to the corner of the bend here. Oh, hello, man. Alright. Hello, you. 
<laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's not your fault. It's just, she's like right here at the bend of the corner. Okay. I, I just don't know right. how to place her in the right place. I, I know. This is the problem with drawn maps. And the fact that I kept this on a grid for some reason. Anyway. What are you looking for around the bend? Um, I I know I'm probably gonna... Yuna's too curvy. <laughs> you guys are killing me tonight. Um, I just want to see if... I'll do... I'll roll another perception. Since we heard movement down this way, I want to peek around the corner and see... Does this open up into, like, a bigger... Into a bigger room? Or is this more of a tunnel? This is more of a tunnel right now. Alright. How far can I see down this tunnel for a moment? Um. From what you can see. It looks like it goes like that. If you go around the bend, you'll see more details. You'll go around it I'm gonna perception first before I go around the bed. Is there anybody in this uh hallway before I turn the bed? Roll, roll your perception. Is he option? Oh, what? Twenty-five. Dang, okay. He's good. hacking, bro. Hacking. Mm -hmm. Absolutely hacking. You don't I see anyone. Uh, in, in, in this hallway. Um. Okay. No. Definitely not. Okay. And I will turn the bend. Okay. I so, bribed roll 20. <laughs> um. You come around the bend. Mm -hmm. Still, still empty. Um. And now that you're around the bend, I get to do something. So now... Too much to, money. I want to move! want to... Hold on a moment. I got Oh my god, big line. <laughs> I know, I know it's a big line. I'm trying to move it. <laughs> I have to get rid of it. So... Now that you are around this bend, you see that there's an opening going over there. Mm -hmm. And so there's an opening right here. Yeah, there's an opening. Right here. And this appears to uh, form a room. Okay. Or at least this goes into somewhere. And I peek around the corner. Sure. There's going to be a lot of perception rolls for me tonight. Yeah. Which corner are you peeking? Just dodge that rock. Ah! I can't. What? Hmm? She lost the ability to roll. Quickly, get her! <laughs> oh. I went this way. I mean, you're still on the drawing thing. <laughs> All right. No, it's eleven. You there you go. You proceed down. Um, this seems to open up into a. Well, it seems to open up into a room of some sort. Mm -mm. Do you go down that way? Uh, 
kind of would want to travel back to Georgie just to let him know <laughs> what I have found so far. Okay. He's not worried. Um, <laughs> I know he can probably still, he can see me from where he is. Yeah. Um, and this is a room too? That seems to go into another room, yeah. Uh, I'll go one step down into this so I can see more. Cool. Make a dexterity saving throw. Cool. <laughs> I knew it was coming at some point. Grace. <laughs> Eleven. Uh oh. <laughs> you fall down a pit. Yeah. Bam. And... and... <laughs> You, you, how far you, is you, the pit? Hold on, let me still, ask. How it's far? only 10 feet. Okay. That doesn't stop Bambi from panicking. You, 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 you know, you know, that fell. <laughs> it's a 10, it's a 10 <laughs> foot, uh, it's a 10 foot drop onto spikes. So. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's a These... good thing you're polymorph because that at least takes the damage first. Mm -hmm. Wait, does that mean she chunks runs back? Because cats don't have a lot of HP. Oh, uh -oh. god. No. <laughs> uh, I should. Sorry, with how dark it is and all the shadows, it's it's hard to see pit traps. Well, it's not <laughs> only that. I'm not a rogue, so I'm not thinking of checking for traps. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, let me just let me just look up what uh yeah, has how much one. D4 HP. A cat? A cat. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. It, she may turn back. <laughs> so Don't I'm just. There's a May. <laughs> okay. It's a 12 armor class. Oh wow, I just realized Tiny something. Feet. Oh, hold on. Uh. So hold on a moment. Thing, by the way, Moon. Mm -hmm. Your mental ability scores. Or replaced by a cat's when you polymorph. Okay. I wait. Don't know if this actually makes sense wait. Wait. Show. Wait. Wait. Hold on. You do save because it's only a DC ten. I oh. thought it was a DC twelve. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you almost fall into a pit of spikes. <laughs> it's just a sudden Catch like. <laughs> yep. Sorry about that. Claws. <laughs> yep. Wait, you can't even speak, actually. Wow. No, I can't. But, uh, that, that was something I didn't. Uh, Thor, can you be my cat voice, please? <laughs> and then I'm gonna yeah. go pick up my cat. <laughs> I was, uh, while I was looking up to see how much damage it would be, it told me what the DC is. Okay. And I was like, ah! Because I thought it was 12. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> higher. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it'd be higher too. Hi, Thor. Can you say hi? Can you say hi, honey? No, he's like, no, I'm camera shy. Anyway. Got to teach that cat how to be how to be camera photogenic. Uh, not this cat. This cat the, will never be photogenic. The, uh, uh, you, when you look down at what the pit of spikes are, um, you uh, you notice that. Uh, it was, like, um, it, they're all made out of, like, bones, and if you squint, like, some of it's kind of shiny, and you think that some of those might be even, like, broken bottles. Like, oh my God. They, they, they use the refuse pile to make a makeshift pit trap and sharpened a whole bunch of stuff. Aww. Oh, Jesus. Uh, kind of climbs out of that pit. Yep. <laughs> hmm. The, the canvas that was uh, used, because it wasn't just like a sudden uh, drop, uh, looked to have been made of like uh, hay with like mud on top of it. So, yeah. Just going to do little tiny mountains. Okay. 
Uh, I do want to check the other room. <laughs> I just want to just peek into this room. All right. Go ahead. Peek in that room. Oh, God. There's another pit trap, isn't there? I I'm looking from the corner. I'm not actually stepping into the... Okay. From the corner that you see, you see these giant... Uh... You see, like, a, a series of, of mushrooms in here. It looks... This is the, where the, the fungus smell came from. Mushy, 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 mushy. So mushy, I'm just gonna mushy, 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 mushy. make a couple of mushrooms. Let's have an aura of minus four wisdom. <laughs> oh, whoever's filling my uh, my mushrooms in, thank you. This is like There's a video no game rendering. It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So in. I can't even <laughs> communicate with um with Georgie. No. But I know someone who can. No. So as you're peeking around the corner, mm -hmm. um, hold on a moment. There we go. Oh, out from uh the mushrooms. A kobold uh, comes from comes from out of it. He, he looks like they have like a, a bag uh, full of recently harvested mushrooms. They had heard one of the traps go off because the pitfall, and now they're coming to investigate. What do you do? Ah, uh, running, <laughs> running back up to Georgie. Are you stealth running or just outright running? Stealth running, please. Stealth running. Oh, wait, I don't okay. think I can ask that because you're a dumbass cat. Oh, thanks. That's right. Well, cats are naturally pretty quiet, even when they're scared. Rather, especially Just when they're scared. Just a moment here. I need to roll a perception for, for, this, for this guy. I don't mean to roll anything before then. Or... Yeah. Uh, there's the perception button. Okay. Uh, roll your running away if you're not stealthing. I want to stealth, please. Okay, roll stealth. 23. Well, it certainly beats them because they have a, an 8 to wisdom. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, go ahead and make your uh, running noises as this kobold uh, turns the corner. And he's like... Hm? Get out. <laughs> Must have been the wind. And they see that the tarp. Uh, well, you can't see this. You don't know what they do. And then you hear a scurrying feet. Uh, and then in the distance, in the very far distance, uh. You hear a uh, a bell. Oh shit! Dude, <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't fuck say anything. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my language. 
<laughs> and then everything goes very quiet. Uh, I look towards Georgie. Yeah, uh, Bambi he, uh, switches his ears and eyes back on and says, Uh-oh. They set up an alarm, didn't they? Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, <laughs> so... I can't, I'm, I'm just, a, uh, I can't jump in there. Am I on somebody? A, uh, <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> I can't see! <laughs> so I think we may have a problem. Uh... So, turn we may be having company. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Get the hell out of there, Georgie. Right, I'm coming out. Whew. Oh, yeah. Oh, My, there's a rumble. Oh, we. Boy. Could, could try to be friendly and I have, a, I have a better idea. Madam LSD. Mm hmm? Could you close this tunnel? Alright. And <laughs> she does so. She closed oh. the tunnel. Well, that's one hallway we don't have to walk down to. <laughs> Oh and God. any hope of us not being perceived as hostile gone. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that they have other ways around. They're cabals. Yes, but you're fucking with their tunnels. <laughs> is it? Is there a tunnel that holy? Yes, uh, that's the entire <laughs> point. <laughs> that's <laughs> We also cut off the way to one of their food supplies, the slime storage mm -hmm. here. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> it is that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is um, a cleric of death, so maybe he's just making mm, them starve. Oh god. <laughs> oh, he's mm. trying to impromptu our death. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's rotating. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're uh. There is a bit of a rum there is a rumble that happens. Mm. Now let's get out of this. Uh, this and tunnel. coming down this way. <laughs> oh boy. Are a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> oh. Ah. Um. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. <laughs> you know how when you're playing like one of those uh, graphic novel, uh, one of those uh, visual novel games, <laughs> fucking and leaders like something front. and immediately regret it because you just you know you just unlocked a bad ending. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You mean like Undertale? Well, that's not really a visual novel, yeah. like, you know, game, but yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So, these uh, kobolds uh, come rushing through, and they are uh, yelling uh, in, uh, in Draconic. There's a, a, a two have uh, spears that have uh, scorpions attached to them, and they aim, and they, uh, are aiming them at you guys. Uh, they're not attacking as of yet, and all of them are are getting in a position. Does anybody uh, know how Bambi to speak Draconic? Immediately apologizing. What's Draconic? Wait, Draconic. Oh, uh, I can understand Draconic. Uh, oh wait, I can also speak Draconic. Draconic. He's apologizing. Yeah. Gonna oh god! On. Oh god! That's a lot of them. Oh boy! I really wish I was. Oh god! Them. There's more. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. We awakened the hive. What do you think is gonna happen? 
there are clues uh, in this, huh? <laughs> and then uh, a rumble from here. Not fucking this. I expected this to be fair after. <laughs> uh, <laughs> coming on through. Coming on through. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. And there's more, definitely, but I'm not putting all of them in here. It's okay. the whole colony. That's, hmm. uh, or at least you think might be the whole colony. Oh, uh, they're not attacking you as of yet, but they are yelling things like, like, who are you? Who are you? And there is, it's a intruders? You mess with tunnel? You mess with tunnel? Uh, no, we do not mess with tunnel. You mess with tunnel. We did not mess with tunnel. Do you, you think draconic? Uh, we did not mess with tunnel. Uh, uh, just uh, speaking back in draconic. <laughs> we did not mess with tunnel. Uh, you know, uh, like a liar. Uh, they don't understand you. Uh, whoever speaks draconic, they will. Uh, they will talk to. Uh, I, I was. I was saying Tia was speaking in draconic. Says, Bambi apologizes, and, like, uh, he is very big and tall, but he says, uh, uh, we're so so sorry, he fell down hole and got scared. We can fix the tunnel, please. We did... Me ah, too. Huh? Huh? It's a hole, 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 hole. They come, come, from, come from hole. The god hole. The. the yes. The, the god the hole. hole gifts. You don't speak draconic Danish. Yes, I do. Uh, I actually do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I speak common infernal draconic dwarven. Yes. Well then, Critical. with your lie, you need to <laughs> roll a deception. I don't know if he's already just found up, but he's bound me apologize for the hole, so... Okay. <laughs> um... <to> lie. <laughs> uh... And they go, you come from the hole of gifts? Make persuasion check. Me or Bambi? But it's the truth, but Bambi's gonna say yes! Bambi! They, uh, uh, they, uh, a, a lot of kobolds are, like, staring up at Bambi because of how big he is, and like, oh. Uh, with, uh, Aegis sh shouting that as proclamation, would Bambi have advantage? Dang, you may give him disadvantage because you lied and Bambi. Um, yeah, you Fair actually point. give him disadvantage because you have conflicting stories. Yeah, Dane. <laughs> yeah, Dane. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god! Well, that's a 19 that's anyways. Pretty good. That's, pretty, pretty that's good. not bad. Okay, that's they're still... In that. They're still not, uh... They have not stopped, uh... They're pointing, but they all are, like, uh, talking amongst, uh, each other. Uh, and they go, If you are friends of the gift hole, then you fix tunnel. Fix tunnel. Uh, fix tunnel. LSD. Fix tunnel. Fix tunnel. Fix tunnel. LSD, can you refix that tunnel? I can. And with a, a wave of her hand, the tunnel is now fixed. And there are a whole bunch more kobolds over there. Oh, God. So. Narrow path, so. <laughs> In common, he's going to say that's a lot tunnel. of kobolds. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, do you. Why you come down to Cobalt Colony? Uh. Asks this one. Why you come down to. to the blood scales? Because. Th there were. Scary no noises and the people up, uh, up there were wanting us to find this scary noises. And so we went down 
a big skull, and it was scary. Mm. But we found you. But you come down gift hole. Do you have gifts? Uh, Bambi Bright. Are you excitedly starts pulling his the tempura he'd made out of his bag? He, uh, you offer this uh, tempura, uh, and one uh, and one of the kobolds like grabs it and sniffs it. Takes like uh, he uh, begins to eat some, and then uh, and then this and uh, and then this one like smacks that one, and like they start fighting over the tempura, and <laughs> a whole bunch of kobolds are fighting over the tempura. Bambi says. Uh, until right. this one uh, mm -hmm. comes to the forefront and is like, Huh? Greedy kobolds! Give gift to me so I assess it! Oh, uh, Bambi hands over some of the tempura that he made. Okay, he takes it, sniffs it, and he goes, and he goes, More! If you give food, you give food to feed the entire colony. Uh, Bambi says, uh, uh, okay, okay, I hope I ha have en enough. I have m more in outside the g gift hole. Mm. But he goes through his inventory and begins handing out, like, the spice berries that he picked earlier, uh, the sage, the tempura he's been experimenting with, with the new recipe, the fish, the, all, the leftover stew, and the soups that he's been making for you guys. And I am removing them from my inventory. <laughs> uh... How do oh, I do it? Do so, uh, I have to do it manually? That sucks. Yeah, uh, you, uh, you give this and, uh, he goes, Put in storage! To, uh, to, uh, a bunch of his kobolds and they go and they take, uh, your, uh, food and, uh, and he goes, Big kobold! Is this your clan? Uh, Bambi shuffles and says, Well, I was kind of hoping. And, uh, he definitely does not make big gold cow eyes at Azure Scales. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> when they... Okay, where is Azure Scales in, in the placement of all of this? Is he cowering somewhere? He's not cowering. He's sort of just behind Aegis, just looking he's around but not cowering right now <laughs> oh okay. god he's, a, he's in full view of the three ones behind us yeah. mm -hmm. um the kobolds that uh come over uh to here they see you and uh and they're like <gasps> greetings leader um uh, they all like uh, shout and they go, It's the one! The who? <laughs> and, uh, and they surround you, uh, Aegis. They're groveling at your feet. You mean Azure? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, Azure. <laughs> Not Aegis. Fuck Aegis. No, no, no. Um, no, no, they, uh, Aegis, they come, but he sucks. They come to Azure. <laughs> they come to Azure and like, uh, like they're coming like to, uh, uh, to like grovel at their feet, leader comes by and he goes, <gasps> It's the blue. And then, like, ever and all the kobolds go, The great blue. Uh, and, uh, and the leader's like <laughs> coming over to you, uh, Azure, uh, and he's like, and he's like, great blue dragon. Where are your wings? <laughs> oh, no. uh. Are you the prophet? 
of the great blue dragon. Let me think. Uh... I imagine Aegis is behind the leader, nodding furiously. <laughs> As he's gonna look for I mean, Agent is writing party. it down in his uh, little notepad. <laughs> he's just gonna briefly look to the rest of the party, like, what do I do? <laughs> you look at Agent, you see him nodding his head as he rolls his hand, like, you know, go on with it, go on with it. <laughs> Can you even understand them? I have Draconic, yeah. Huh? Fair enough. So mm-hmm. far, Bambi, Aegis, and. Azure, and I assume because you cast tongues, you now can all speak Draconic. I can comprehend languages, yes. Uh, yes, I am the prophet of Great Blue. Then you are here to lead us to victory! (laughs) Please, 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 come to our temple! Uh, and, uh, and they go... And uh, the leader uh, uh, makes like a, a yell to uh, all of his uh, kobolds, and he go and uh, well, <laughs> like a great sea part before you. And he goes, and he goes, we can take you, Great Boo, to our temple. Should do you want to bring your servants? <laughs> we yes, spoke to your. We also spoke to your second in command. I apologize. I assumed that he was in charge because of how giant he was. But it is clear that you are the leader of this entire group. Is the reason why you changed our tunnel because it was unsatisfactory? We are changed tunnels! (laughs) (laughs) His head's just spinning at all of this at this point. I'm Uh, getting some serious Road to El Dorado vibes. And I'm yeah, I love it. Yeah, I'm I'm lo- this is totally from the <laughs> Uh Worry not about tunnel for now. Let's let's go to temple first with uh, my Blue is so gracious. <laughs> no, we are not worthy. <laughs> come, come to our temple. We make do. Yes. Uh, and well. They're all gonna lead you to, uh, to the, to their, uh, further into the kobold, uh, I'm not gonna draw it, um, but they draw you deeper into their, uh, kobold home, and you realize how big this place is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Aegis will Uh, at least be the, Aegis will at least be kind enough to fill in Georgie, LSD, and Nerdu. As to what the hell just happened? Okay. Uh, yep. Bambi mutters to you now with like a forlorn look on his face, like, "Wow, he's a prophet too. He's beautiful and talented. He he's way out of my league. I don't think he's out of your league." You had a beautiful, like, relationship on the way here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bambi says, I d- don't think being t- tied up is a g- g- good foundation f- for a relationship. I wouldn't say that. Some people enjoy that. Mm-hmm. He didn't complain at all. Really? Yeah. And he just looks if so was... innocently curious. Yeah, if he was complaining that he didn't like it, then we know it wasn't a success, but he didn't complain at all, so you, it was a success. You two do realize he's got an army of kobolds behind him now, right? <laughs> See, here's the thing, is that... Uh, I forget your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go... Azure. Azure. Here's the thing, Azur could send it on Yuna, but I don't think he would send it on Bambi. Bambi's innocent. Yuna's also innocent, but she has, like, the wrong ideas of teachings. Quotation marks innocent. And Bambi is the one who sheltered you in his food cart. Yes. Yes, Bambi saved me from the party. Almost from party. (laughs) 
it's not uploading this map. I'm getting upset. No. Because I, I like this map. This is a good map. Because it has a temple and everything. I didn't make this map. Okay. Um, just like, you know. Yeah. I found it because I got really, really tired paying for a subscription that I was hardly using. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and some of the pre-made maps are actually really good, so. Yeah. Uh, just give me just give me a moment here. I have to mm -hmm. try another way of how to upload it. Till then, you guys can role play. I'm just getting the next area ready for you guys. Uh, hmm. Since we're uh, going, Mister Alex is gonna whisper. Can you guys try to find out what this prophecy is? Uh, Bambi nods. <laughs> They're just gonna lean mm. over to one of the kobolds walking alongside us and whisper in Draconic. What's... What's the prophecy? I is he asking one of the kobolds? He is. Uh, the kobold uh, that you decide to talk to looks to you and they, and they go, the great prophecy. Well, you are, you are servants of the great blue. Surely you must know it. He, he's kept us in the dark. I think it wants us to be a surprise to us. Oh, he's kept you in the dark. <laughs> and they don't uh, answer Bambi you. Bambi up to another <laughs> kobold. <laughs> you did just give him the perfect excuse not to tell you, Dane. <laughs> yeah, like I dark. did. Uh, Bambi asks uh, one of the kobolds, what what's the pro prophecy about? In Draconic? Yes, naturally. Okay, so uh Um they uh they uh look to you um and and they go You follow the great blue and yet you know nothing of the great prophecy? Bambi, uh, Bambi blushes and says, "Um, shy when I was hired to help, I was too nervous to talk to him. He is very be beautiful and very yes, powerful. He is very beautiful." He is wonderful. Bambi because he is agreement. because he is close to the dragon kid. Oh. Who, who's the d d dragon king? So, uh Oh no. Just give me a moment here. I'm still uh, adjusting my map here. Mm -hmm. It's almost ready. Awesome. It's adjusting its size and everything. I think I have to make it bigger. Um So and uh and the cobalt goes We were born to serve the great one. The great dragons. And out from the blood came the dragon king. This is our purpose. This is a kobold's purpose. Bambi and now it is, and now no it is your purpose. Serve the 
blue pro prophet? The blue prophet serves the greater dragon. Oh. It's all right. I'm sure uh, the great prophet blue will tell you all about it. I hope so. I I don't want want to look stupid. Hmm. So long as you a hard worker, even the dumbest kobold looks amazing. <laughs> Bambi Beans says, I am a great kobold. It yes, you are a the yes, you are a giant kobold. <laughs> but I am confused. Why do you not know prophecy? I live in swamp. Very East. small clan. Swamp bolds. Terrible place for a kobold. Bambi nods in agreement, even though he has no idea what a kobold environment should be. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's no wonder you know nothing. Bambi rejoins the group and says, Uh, uh apparently we serve a d d d dragon. It's no. Well, at least they told you. I literally just, I literally got shocked. Oh God! Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh boy. That's a big. You, you realize how big this is? Yeah. You're, um, as you are led down further and further and further, I, you come. I assume this is where we come in. <laughs> yup. You're coming down these mines. And you just see, like, there are jewels on on the walls. Uh, and, uh, like, and, and like, uh, clearly, like, this is getting, like, mined and, yeah. and stuff. By the way, uh, Dane, how long have we been going? We have been going uninterrupted for a, an hour and 12 minutes. Okay. So, thank you. By the way, there's no music playing right now. I know. Uh, I don't have any music playing at the moment because I am trying to find uh, that. music that might be good. Roger that. I like this. Now I gotta bring out a whole bunch of kobolds again. Let me bring my thing up quick. So, uh. Yep, here we go. <laughs> Where's Azure? Uh, Azure is giant and in the corner. <laughs> Azure oh. <laughs> is near the front with the, with the leader. <laughs> I guess that would mean that Bambi's second in command, so she, they gotta be up front in front of Magus. Yep. I was gonna say Azure. Well, he lags behind to talk to people, so he's probably in the midst of the group. Fine, the Aegis will be right behind Azure. It would make oh, sense as to. You... Oh, they don't let you near Azure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Things don't go crack south. under the pressure. You can do I'm this. Cracking. <laughs> Azure's cracking. Uh, also, hey, Stripe, you actually sound cool. normal. Really? Yeah. That's surprising. Uh, I don't. It, he still sounds the same to me. So, <laughs> he leads you down, and he goes, Ha! This way, Great Blue. We have been preparing for an of the, of the arrival of the Dragon Prophets. You are one of the first. Ah, yes. 
How have uh, your preparations been going? Oh! Would you like to see? Yes. Would you like I to... Uh, w would you like to see... Uh, uh, cobalt uh, preparations first before temple? Or do you want to see temple first? Uh, let's do temple first and we'll see the preparations okay. afterwards. Temple, yes. You shall see our priestess. Priestess? <laughs> Just the, the sheepest way of saying priestess. <laughs> Just waiting for the whole entire... Listen, this is an Eldorado scam to go through. We're gonna see how badly this goes. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least, we have all of our spell slots ready, just in there case. There are giant stones mm -hmm. that are of steps just going further and further down until you encounter something that looks akin to, like, well, it was like lava rock. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is gonna hurt. Bambi's gonna start hyperventilating. Okay. Oh, and he hops... From rock to rock. Okay. Uh. Mm. Follow that cobalt. I'm yep. Just checking my spells real quick to make sure. <laughs> it is hot down here. Yeah. Oh, I wish I was red scaled. Do I have anything that will help with this? That's what I was checking, actually. <laughs> uh, no, as... A as a man who has a lot of death involved, I got nothing here. <laughs> okay. Uh, he'll follow after. Okay. Make your way. Make me dexterity saves. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, make me one dexterity save. Okay. One general, just to see how far you can get, I assume. I was going to say, wait, yeah. hold on one second. Don't tieflings have resistance to fire? He's a dragon. No, it's... Yeah, I'm a dragon. She's talking about you. Yeah, you have a resistance, Dane. Do Did I? you forget that you're a tiefling oh, and not an old Yeah. Boy? So, Ashley's gonna... Do uh, okay, yeah, I did forget about that. <laughs> Dane. Okay, See, now, this, is, this is... Not this is... Attack. <laughs> that okay. Hmm. <laughs> So Ash is actually going to do something that may impress some of the tieflings, but it's also just so he doesn't fall in lava. He will... Kobolds, not tieflings. Eh, tieflings, kobolds. Something, something. He will use his slippers to spider climb and walk along the wall. They are very impressed. <laughs> That's why I got that. <laughs> and use that to go around <laughs> A bunch of these kobolds like hop. Are we allowed to follow? He asks uh, Intraconic to one of the kobolds. Hello. Okay. Uh, do I need to make a deck save? Yep. Is this temple okay. pretty open, or are there like actual like walls and stuff? This temple, like aside from like the cave like wall and stuff, like. It's pretty open. All, a lot of this is just pillars okay, going all the way up to the ceiling. To this rock and then make it to the temple. Yeah. With that nat 20, I'm going to say Bambi's actually a little bit less, a little bit more over his fear of fire and burning flesh. He feels emboldened. Now, the only one I don't see is uh, Yuna. We all, we all left the cat behind. No, it wouldn't have. Ah, <laughs> uh, Moon, you got the... Oh, oh god, that's an no. eight. Oh, boy. Wait, where is Yuna on the map? Yes, bring her to yeah, that's to why. That's, what Moko said. that's why I was like, where's Yuna? If Moon's talking, I can't hear her, and the in the recording will be able to hear. Her. 
you know, I was talking and I had my oh. mic up, which turns off my <laughs> mic. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 I said that I have not brought her token out right now, um, but I'm going to do the rolls. The thing is, is that um, uh, currently Yuna is burning. She rolled yeah. an eight on her deck save. So uh, what's my damage? Well, let's look up what lava damage is. Oh, no. <laughs> lava damage, 5e. Uh, I, I guess Aegis would go oh! back to help her. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. I'm just reading this. Mm hmm So... Can I make a deck save to catch them? Yes, yes, you can. If you notice that they slip the fall. I, I want to um, use this. Because, uh, well... It's 10d10 last I look. It's 10d10. <laughs> yeah. It also destroys any item on you that is not magical. That would be my clothes and everything. Lava does not mess around. Indeed. Lava does not mess around. Nope. So if you're going to be fighting, no. uh, I'm not catching them. Oh no! Uh, uh, Bambi's gonna wait, die what? for her. Bambi's gonna wait. die for her to try to save her. Wait, no! Hold on! <laughs> Definitely going to lava. Pass the cat! <laughs> <laughs> oh, not one! No, you fool! <laughs> oh my god! So no, uh, I was that, damn going it. to say. <laughs> that I already had a plan for this, but now I just want to see if anyone else wants to try. <laughs> uh, is Aegis so moon? Or oh, Mocha, sorry. Is it actually lava or is it lava stone? So it is lava stone, I think. It wouldn't be full 10d10. Okay. Oh, thank God. Because 10d10 uh, is if you're immersed in lava. Yeah, that's why I was like looking. I think. Because this is a leg that's or foot getting submerged in it, it's going to be a three D ten. Yeah, that's so, a lot of fire and shock. Now go ahead, do it, do it, do it. Do so three D ten. And my okay. foot. Seventeen. <laughs> Max and min. And for average. all of us or for is that just the first person? Uh, so for... that's gonna So when you were diving for for her you uh oh no bambi oh, no. okay so it is lava rock you're not fully submerged into it tell me what would you rather ha be burning right now your arms uh, i'm picturing it like a football type of save where he went back first yeah oh back first oh, back? oh god no Okay, I have to protect her so she is not getting the lava because she is Bambi's friend and he does not want to see another friend burned alive. That is very much the root of his trauma. Wait, another friend? Oh boy. That's his whole uh, backstory. Age at this point is literally just oh, this leaving. Isn't, this, isn't, this isn't being fully submerged into lava. This is lava rock, so but it's your back and that's a big area. Hmm. I need some help with this. Boo. I am also should it be a, should it be three D ten again? Variant, so it should be three D ten again. Three D ten again? Jimmy okay. Also, Jimmy was also talking. Here's your about damage, it. hun. You uh got a ten. Uh no, a twelve. Yeah, it's um, not bad at all. And Lenara, fine. you're fine because I assume that you're flying across. Well, but even if not, I didn't roll on that one on the catch, so it was more I went to and just failed to actually grab. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Mocha, since I basically sort of scooped her up like a football, does that mean I took her damage instead of no? Uh, her no, her it's, her leg well, got that, caught by fire. Your that back got caught that you by fire. To get them, and you actually got into the fire yourself too, or the lava. It, yeah. Imagine you diving for them to try and catch them, and then. You've kind of overestimated how far you needed to dive. Uh, yeah. Okay, I have a really weird thing. Mm hmm So, my we're health gonna has disappeared. Wait, what? What? M my health has disappeared on my character sheet. Really? Yeah. Huh. Is it replaced with an NA? 
No, like it's completely blank, and I had it filled in last time. Wait, it's saying zero zero or just not any entry? No entry at all. That's weird. <laughs> Quite weird. You know what? We're nearing the end of our session anyway. Yeah. Because we're nearing 10 p.m. and I know that a certain player of ours needs to go to bed. Yeah. So we'll we'll deal with this uh, at the end. Between. Yeah. In between. Uh, we'll, we're not going to talk about this now. Either way, please uh, mark the damage. Mark Just your mark damage. damage. You're I, not I, I out. I did in my current in 17. So okay. All right. So there's uh, that. These guys. Uh, uh, Avis will go back with. We'll also head back in order to kind of help guide them back. These guys rolled okay, so. And they go right here. Uh, Boom. You, two, you both need to be more careful. And Georgie freezes at the temple that he sees. His eyes wide in shock. And those of you who are near enough to hear him, roll me perception. Okay. I, I think I might be near. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know where I am. What? Well, you... what? <laughs> nope. Yep, you don't hear. Uh, oh. You do hear your uh, the leader of the Kobolds go, uh, <sighs> You are so gracious to have such stupid bipeds to be uh, your servants. <laughs> I forget Kobold's like, yeah, you get a beer guy serving you, that's great. <laughs> it's kind hey, of uh, bad. Mocha. Hmm? Since Aegis went back in order to kind of help guide the two over to where we are. Yeah. Uh, would, we, would we come back in time to also make the perception checks, or? No. You okay. you would not. You're making, you've made your way across now. I'm not going to have you roll it again. I <laughs> No, I'm talking about the perception check. No. Okay. You guys spent your time making Burning it across the lava. the lava rock. Um. You, uh, so Bambi, unfortunately, uh, I, I'm gonna have to ignore that perception because That's you were fair. getting across. It was a good one. I'm sorry, Lenara. You hear, uh. Georgie, whisper. These ruins. They are okay. similar to John the Rock. And that's where we're ending it for tonight. It's sweet. Mm. All right. Well, All right. Well, that was awesome. Thanks, Mocha. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guys and, in the future. Uh, be we prepared. are. Be prepared because who knows? The next session may be the last one. It might be. Maybe. We are we are very close to the end. Woo! Bye, exciting. everyone. Bye. Bye bye. Well, we sacrifice at the end, or we actually victorious. That's what we're gonna figure out. Don't sacrifice Aegis. <laughs> so you guys 